Hello and welcome to another segment of working with your studio or maintaining your studio, whatever I call it, I always forget. Now today we are going to prep my new crucible. Now this right here is a crucible. It's used for melting silver or melting metal. Currently right now you shouldn't use it for doing that because the silver will not cling to it properly. Now the first step to prepping it is we need to coat it with flux, which is in, I keep in this little jar here. Usually you would use dry flux, but I don't own any, so we're going to be using wet flux, which is flux suspended in water. Now I filled in a good quantity there. I might have to add more, but this should work. Now the first thing is I am wearing my goggles right now and I'm wearing my apron. I've already prepped the torch so it should just light up. I'm using my larger drill, my larger bit today, a size 7, I usually use a size 5. I'm making the flame pretty big. I'm going even circles around. Remember the flux is made up of glass or glass like material so you definitely want to wear goggles as I am right now. But even when you do casting you want to make sure that you are casting you put more flux in to clean the metal itself. This is just more to prep the crucible. I also put my crucible on top of a honey, two honey pieces of honeycomb and a piece of soldering board to protect the table because this thing gets really hot because that's what crucibles do. They store heat and prevent it from damaging the area around it. Ah, you can see it's starting to go on the edges there. The key thing is I keep going in circles here. This distributes the heat evenly, which also can prevent damage in a crucible. These things can, crucibles can take a lot of damage, but if you put a lot of heat in one spot, they can crack. I have seen them crack before. You also want to wear all the safety gear I'm wearing because when you're working with smelt metal, I actually had like the metal pop on me and explode, which is never fun either. I'm also kind of trying to stand back from this stuff. I'm watching it burn away. So now it's getting, going beyond the bubble phase. You've done soldering before, you've recognized this level. You want to kind of turn to a black glassy phase. See the flame keeps turning green, it's the burning at the flux happening. It's starting to reach that glassy phase now. I actually might add a little bit more flux in here. Sure, not to touch the tip of the torch. I think it's very hot. Or touch the crucible. Dosage of heat, and we should be done. 
Just kind of light up the torch. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. So there you have it. That's what the crucible should kind of look like. I'm gonna zoom in for you. Nice little glassiness in the bottom. Remember when you do do the actual solder again, when you start when you do the actual cast again, you'll add more flux, and that flux will move around. It's not permanent, but this helps with the casting process. Thank you very much and hope you enjoy.